Chuck. It's P. Simple. The revolution will be digitized. Real Talk Session Series. The revolution will be digitized. Talk session series, the revolution will be hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Taryn Morgan, the founder and content creator of the Real Talk Session Series. As usual, we are staying hydrated with Alkaline Warrior Water, brought to you by Fillmore Fit Gym down in Windsor Mills, Maryland. But today, I am here with some folks from Jersey. Um, I always talk about I want to empower New Jersey, show what talent we have. And I have one of the biggest platforms in New Jersey today, Jersey Turn Up Entertainment. How y'all doing? What's going on with y'all? Doing good, doing good. Great, great. I apologize for the one mic, no but you know, no like Nas said, all we need is one mic, you know we good. Yeah. So can y'all introduce yourselves to the people individually and then tell everybody about Jersey Turn Up Entertainment? Okay. I'm, um, I'm Banks, AKA uh, DJ Fine, uh, CEO of JTU. Uh, we are Jersey Magazine and Jersey Diamonds. I'm B, Jersey Queen 201. And um, we are the CEOs. Uh, we both own uh, Jersey Turns Up ENT. Uh, we are Jersey Magazine and Jersey Diamonds. Okay, doing big things, definitely. So, how did you guys come about to creating Jersey Turns Up? Because that's the the parent organization. So, tell us about that. What was the vision behind it? She loves this story. <laughs> yeah, no, um, I've known Banks for about ten years. So when I knew him for a little bit, he was a uh, close friends with one of another DJ that was on our team at the time. And we started throwing events um, in Bergen County, mm -hmm. mostly safe, diverse. Um, There's a lot of fun for the younger crowd, um, people around our age at the time. And at the time, we were about 19 and 20 when we first started this. Yeah. Yeah, as she said, we've known each other for years. So, I mean, the kind of the chemistry by itself um, spoke for itself. And then also, we always wanted to create a safe environment for everybody in our age bracket at the time yeah. to, to be able to have a good time, you know, because we were all underage. So we were like, all right, you know, we can still be underage and have fun and you yeah. know, have safe fun and everything. So we always provide a great environment for our, for our fans and our followers. So that, I think that's very noble of y'all. It's dope because especially being a Jersey head, I went to William Patterson and it was kind of crazy partying in Patterson, wild bull with the parties and all that stuff. That's all the fights. But it's dope that y'all created a safe environment, definitely. Um, so what do you think motivated y'all at the time? Because that was something that people were doing, but necessarily it was more so for everybody. They weren't thinking about people's concerns. It wasn't inclusive, et cetera. So what motivated y'all at the time to get to that point? Um, from my perspective, it was definitely the fact that our um, our friends never had a place to really just have fun, you yeah. know, all the time. We were always in, like, what, somebody's garage, somebody's backyard. Like, we were always trying to look for a place. So we were like, why not just create a company where we could just have fun and be yeah. safe? And and everybody, like, made sure, make sure they got home safely. Like, we mm. kept in touch with everybody from sun up to sun down. Like, I, I, every single time we had these kind of events, definitely. I would say definitely for, for my um my perspective, at least another thing to add on to what Banks said really is because um, in high school, I was, I was president of FBLA, um, which is Fu Future Business Leaders of America. Okay. okay. So um, I started throwing events then. And at that time, it was to help one of my close friends who was in an accident at the time. Mm. So um, I always loved helping people. So I was like always kind of, I don't know, it's like it stuck with me ever since then. And it's after I left high school, I didn't really have anything where I was helping people. So I was like, a part of me was not there not being able to do as much as i could at that time okay so this was something that helped br bring it together for me okay that's dope so let's fast forward to 2019 jersey turned up entertainment what are you guys doing today what, what's it looking like now that you guys got some more wisdom matured you grew up a little bit so what, what's the events looking like that y'all doing currently it's lit <laughs> I, 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 have it's it's lit. I have to agree with it yes it's definitely lit. um one thing i can say is just amazing over the years like i said we started when we were like 18 19 years old 20 and just being able to see just the expansion of um how when we first started with parties and yeah. like the crowd we have to now like selling out crowds Dope. um selling out yacht parties you know doing mm. these different things that now that's what i like stunt though he said yacht party <laughs> yeah, i mean ain't nobody doing you know, that you know what i'm saying and it's just great to just continue to create an environment that people really have fun at our parties and they could say i had a great experience there was no drama no problems like we really do create a safe fun environment for you to just express yourself because you know everybody works hard yeah. so us being able to say listen like we we get it Mm -hmm. And we want to give you an opportunity to really like just have fun, be yourself, and just meet great people. Because one thing I can say about our events, I'm sure B is going to mention, is that we create an environment for you to network. Nice. Everybody that comes important. to our events is usually like creative. So it's just great to bring Jersey together, definitely. So we went from y'all doing events into doing a digital publication. 
which I was definitely amazed with because I never really saw anything like a digital publication, um, especially with print nowadays. You know, back, back in the day we had double XL, the source, buy, all in print, but now everything's going towards the digital. So, can you tell everybody about We Are Jersey magazine? Mm. It's a baby. Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> um, really, We Are Jersey Magazine is just, you know, it's, it's all creatives, not only artists. We've had tattoo artists, people who do artwork as well, artists, um, authors. We've had so many different types of people, hosts. Um, it was like a Goya representative, actually, she was. That's, Goya. Mm -hmm. that's yeah. what's up. That's, that's so incredible. we've done a, like, a lot of different types of creatives from New Jersey. Um, it's like limitless, really. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, the vision that we have for this magazine, again, is just connecting Jersey and even um, beyond Jersey. Just mm -hmm. just bring it all back into um, just the creator aspect, absolutely. Yeah. And one of the things, too, that really stood out to me is that y'all are both black CEOs, but y'all welcome everybody. Black, white, Latino, Latinx, whatever you want to call it. Um, I think that's definitely something that I, I like. So how long have you guys been doing the magazine? Oh, it's getting toward five years. Back, yeah, no, it's it's four and a half. Four and a half. Yeah, <laughs> half ready? Looking at the time. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, four and a half years now. Yeah. And you guys drop every quarter, correct? Every um, bi monthly. Bi monthly. Bi monthly. Yeah. Bi -monthly. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, we usually like to give um, each, you know, give the opportunity for the the last issue to really like be pushed forward, and also then we pack you in for the next one. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, some, some magazines, they do like a monthly issue. We do bi-monthly just to really give you some hard hitting Like, artists, we do some research. I mean, B, she's on top of like all this, these credentials and making sure that you really are who you say you are and you represent in Jersey and wh whatever you represent, you know, with, with all of you, definitely. Okay, that's so. Now, with the magazine, do you guys have like a media background, journalist background, or how'd that come about? Honestly, no. No journalism. I like that. Um, no, not at all. Honestly, we we honestly ended up just doing this magazine and scoping out talent. And now, like you know, people ended up like really trusting us with like the opinions of the artists in New Jersey. So um, we just keep trying to bring talent to the board. Like we care strictly about the talent. Like so, people come up to us about numbers. Like it's about your talent, your skill, your merit, your consistency. Some people pay for fake stuff. So like it's, exactly. it's about the, the real. It's about the real deal. Yeah. Well said. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I like it definitely because it's all about the exploration learning. Y'all didn't have that background, but y'all took it to this level. And that's similar to like what I'm doing right now. I did video for a while, but it's the first time I actually stepped in front of the camera. So it's, it's a learning process. So looking at where you guys started with the magazine to now, what would you say is the biggest lesson that you learned? Um, always deadlines. I think like deadlines are the most important thing, of course. Um, and at the end of the day, you have to stick to them. Because if you just keep waiting, or people are slacking on the other end, you know, you just, you got to put pep in your step. <laughs> yeah, yeah. deadlines is definitely a big thing. We are real big on time management, and if I didn't say that, she would get at me. So, <laughs> definitely, because she gets on me about it, and that's okay, because yeah. we bounce off of each other with a lot of, yeah, definitely, accountability, because it's big, you know, we have a lot to represent, we have a lot of artists that we have on this platform that take it very serious, and we take this very serious, so, you yeah. know, showing that consistency, that time management, definitely plays a big part. So, moving on from the magazine to the, your newest creation, which is Jersey Diamonds, so tell us about that, definitely. I got a fiance, shout out to you fiance, but you know, they, they doing it with the ladies. <laughs> um, really, just the Jersey Diamonds, those are those are the faces of the company, you know what I mean? Those are all of our girls, our models. Mm -hmm. um, you probably see them all over our pages. Um, they do a lot of everything, really. They do brand ambassador stuff, they do fashion and runways, they are in multiple magazines besides We Are Jersey Magazine, like the girls work hard, you know? Mm. Yeah, definitely. Um, they're definitely the face of this platform, and they and they and they deserve it because they work hard every single time. I mean, any concept, and they are creatives. They are creatives. Not only do they work in front of the camera, but they work behind the camera too. So nice, they nice. they are cre all creative visually. I mean, sometimes they they do mentoring that I don't even know. I'm like, Wait, you guys are mentoring who? They're like, yeah, we're mentoring. Them. They're asking. They're being asked to be model coaches. So these girls have expanded. They've only been with us for like you know a short period of time. So it's just great to see how they've grown over time, definitely. And that's what's up, definitely. And how big is the team overall? Because we always see you two, and you said the ladies, but like I don't p think people understand what's behind the scene when it comes to this stuff. Um, if we wanna like include everything between We Are Jersey Magazine, you know, 
of the Diamonds being our, our models. Um, Jersey turns up ENT, public relations on our team and all of that too. And Empire Nine, which is our printing services, it's really around 25, 25 okay, okay. people at least. Now, if you're just talking like Jersey turns up ENT, we are Jersey Magazine and Jersey Diamonds and how it all started, it was me and B. Okay. And so it's, um, and then now we have, like I said, the, the models, we have our photographers now, shout out to Q, Daniel, Lisa, all of them, definitely. So we have like, we have just expanded over time. Mm. And, um, and that takes time. It takes time to really like, you know, get used to people and their styles and then to build that trust. But we yeah. finally found the great team. We have Empire Nine. I mean, these, these guys are some great people, definitely. Oh. So you have the three different businesses, which is dope. And one thing that I noticed that you guys are big on partnering with different organizations and one of them being Empire Nine. So tell us how both entities came together and, you know, put the powers together and created something dope. Um, really, I mean, I'm, I'm part CEO of uh, Empire Nine. Um, he's on the team as well, helping the brand ambassadors, especially. Um, it came about with um, my other business partner, who's a producer, um, but he also is a firefighter. Gene, mm. um, really, we wanted to do something that still involves the industry, but also that leaves something behind for our kids on a positive note. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, we really just teamed up and we figured that this would be something that would be good for each individual. At the end of the day, everybody needs clothes, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And just being able to have that opportunity that me and B were able to just join on. I'm a general manager of the team, too, so I'm on the team, too. And I do also the... Um, the head manager of the brand ambassadors. So we're doing just a lot of expansion, a lot of networking, just bringing everybody, you know, bringing everybody home, <laughs> okay. you know, close and then being able to really just show your talent. Definitely. Okay. And now, like, I know a lot of merchandise companies that print different customized things, but you guys have something totally different, which is the subscription package. So can you break it down how it works to the people? Because I definitely think that's something they can use to their advantage. Yeah, pretty much. Um, if you want to start your own online store, um, we allow you to do that online. Um, we will print it for you. We'll ship it to your clients. And then your production costs is taken out, and then you get your money. Okay. Yeah, so you can earn with us. Yeah, that's definitely dope. So, like... You both, did you go to school for entrepreneurship, business, or is it just like natural hustle? I would say FBLA helped me, really, since high school. Okay. Um, I mean, we're both college graduates, so we are... Um, Wait, what schools? Y'all got right your schools? Where's uh, you from? Yeah, Bergen. <laughs> and then at, um, Rampo College. Rampo? Yeah, okay. Rampo College. I mean, I've been to a couple of colleges, but Rampo College yeah, is my yeah, last one. Yeah, it's all good, bro. Yeah, but, you know, I went to Willie P, also yeah. Bergen Community College, and then you got, yeah, you got Rampo, so there's a couple of them. But, um, yeah, so we're both very educated. We understand, like, you know, as far as interaction and business and professionalism, but mm -hmm. as far as, like, business degree, no. No, yeah. this is all something just from the heart, and, and God just blessed us to really just continue, and we just kept going, and we've just been inspired by just doing research and studying and stuff, but we've never, never gotten to school for business. That's what's up, and like, that's one thing I'm big on. I work in the education field, but I come to believe that degrees don't matter to, for you to be successful at all. So like, how did y'all learn what y'all learned to get to this point? Because a lot of people become slaves to them circumstances. They think that they had to go to school to learn something, but y'all did this without going to school for business. So drop some jewels on them. To be honest, I was just always a nerd. <laughs> Ain't so, no one nerds. Black yeah, nerds unite. Yeah, you know? This is what it is. I mean <laughs> okay. in, in high school like I built a computer, a custom build, and then like I just ended up from there like just taking over whatever I enjoyed. Mm. Like I did CAD in high school and like I loved it. So like all the different aspects I just dipped into everything because I just liked it, you know? Yeah, definitely. And for me, I just love talking to people. So okay. it's like between the be, uh, the nerd and then the 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 the, the interaction with people, yeah. and we both. And now I'm a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> like she's a transfer me. Like yeah. and we do. We just kind of bounce back and forth. Um, it's it's just it's, it's kind of grown on its own, and um, we just learn together. And then you know, um, if we ever see something that's different than the other, we just bring it together. You know, and yeah. we, let's see how you know let's see how it works. Definitely. Yeah. And that's one of the good things about any good partnership. Y'all balance each other out. So, you know, you say you were the nerd, he's more social. So, y'all took those strengths and weaknesses, you know, and y'all made it into something great. So, definitely salute to y'all because people need to see those positive images, those positive stories, and partnerships like this to show that you don't have to be a slave to where you come from. You can do whatever you want to do as long as you put that work in. So, of course, with any business, any partnership, personalities clash. So, what was one time where, like, it wasn't working between you two. Like, how did you guys get past that point to continue to be a prosperous partnership? Have you ever had a moment like that? I'm trying to recall. <laughs> if so, 
I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. We, you know, you know, and, and it's funny because a lot of people ask us that, like, have you guys ever bounced out? I mean, have we had disagreements? Absolutely. But it's never been something where we never saw eye to eye. Because when we first created this, every single product underneath mm -hmm. Jersey Turn to BET, even going on to Empire Nine, we spoke about it. We talked about the vision, the mission, and mm -hmm. everything. And then we were like, okay, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. You know, if anything, we probably get on each other more about time management. Well, she gets on me <laughs> more about <laughs> time management and everything yeah. and communication. But other than that, there's, that's, that's, the only thing that we really um, go back, I guess going to say go back and forth, but that's the only thing that we grow, you know, right. um, on each other about just communication and um, consistency and just time management. That's really it. Yeah. Okay. So, like, what would you think is the key to it? Because you, you dropped a lot of different things. So, you said time management, consistency, communication. So, what do you think was the number one thing you guys did to be this successful and to not have those disagreements? Um, really, communication is, like, the key to everything. So, like, for as long as we've communicated and, like, with all honesty of two, mm. with communication, then, you know, then you're set. You know what I mean? But once you have to hide things or, you know, go around or beat around the bush for certain things, yeah. it makes it very rocky to do things. So, like, I think me and him just naturally understood. I don't know if it's because we're both earth signs or, like, okay, okay. you know what I mean? Hey, what's your signs? What's your signs? <laughs> I'm a Taurus. Taurus. I'm a Virgo. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I ain't Leo, so it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. What advice would y'all give to young entrepreneurs? Because right now in the world, it seems like there's an energy shift to people mm -hmm. wanting to be entrepreneurs doing their own thing. And it's becoming saturated. So, like, what advice can you give to a new, younger person or even someone older that's trying to get into, you know, what y'all doing? I would say always keep learning. You know what I mean? And if you mm. really want to do it, do the work. You have to do the work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, definitely keep going. Uh, consistency, stay open-minded. Yes. Open-minded um, and definitely uh, just pursue, pursue your, your passion. You know, and be you, be you, be real, be you, um, and, and be ready to take critique. And, and as long as it's healthy critique, that's going to just push you forward to grab a hold of that vision and, mm. and, that, and what you want to, and that goal that you have for your life, then by all means, go for it. Y'all talked about a lot of y'all learned on your own. Did y'all have like any mentors or anybody that helped y'all out? Um, we had one person who, who was, um, you know, he was assisting us for a little bit. He's, uh, his name is Bunny. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Bunny. <laughs> No, he's, he was a great guy. Um, you know, he's just busy doing his own business right now, actually. So, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, no. He did a lot of mentoring, especially when it came to um, DJing and stuff, because uh, I'm also a DJ, too. So okay. um, with the with music and just breaking out into a different culture and caliber, like yeah. Caribbean and everything, that's a whole nother flow by itself. Yeah, it really is. But shout out to all my Caribbean, because we love y'all. <laughs> oh, my goodness, we love y'all. Right. But, um, yeah, definitely, he's he was definitely a mentor. But, um. Also, my mother. My mother helped with a lot. Of things. My, mother, my mother's actually the editor of our magazine. Oh, nice. Um, she does the bios, helping create the um, uh, uh, the platform for artists to really be able to have a good, solid bio. Okay. Um, and be able to take that anywhere. You know, at the end of the day. So definitely, is we're really in house. We're re we're really a big family. Okay. You know, this is really it was family started, very family oriented. So then we just took off from there. Definitely. What is your vision for what you're doing right now, five years from now? Like, so what do y'all see yourselves in five years with this? Expansion, expansion, um, international, but that's coming less than five years. <laughs> but other than that, um, yeah, just expansion. Um, we're going to continue partnering up with a lot of great people. Um, and we're just going to be doing bigger and better things, definitely. Okay, that's dope. So stay tuned and then uh, watch out for them prints because those are coming to a store near you very soon, definitely. All right, nice. So, like, what's some of the stuff you guys have coming up in the future? Okay, so um, on June 1st, there's going to be a showcase. Um, shout out to CR. Um, he's going to have a showcase at the Movement Space in Elizabeth. Okay. Um, I will be DJing over there, and we will be uh, hosting that event also. So that's going to be really big. And then check out the May issue of We Are Jersey Magazine coming out May 15th, um, 2019. Definitely. All right, cool. And all that information will be at the end of the video also. So if people wanted to come on the platform and get involved with you guys, how can they do that? Well, for one, you can uh, follow us on all streaming platforms at We Are Jersey Magazine, uh, Jersey Turns Up ENT, and um, We Are Jersey Diamonds. And you can also follow us, or you can also contact us on our website, www.jerseyturnsupent.com. Right, you can follow us personally. You can DM us too. Um, I'm Jersey Queen 201. And I'm Banks Flexing. And we'll have the Real Talk Session Series merchandise via Empire Nine also, but I got to work out some fun situations first. But <laughs> we'll give him that subscription. That subscription. Yeah. Exactly. But thank you both for having me. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you. Y'all got a nice little setup here. So whenever you have a chance, please check them out. Indeed. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the Real Talk Session.
Real Talk Session Series, The Revolution Will Be Digitized. Real Talk Session Series, The Revolution Will Be Digitized. Session series, the revolution will be digitized. It's P simple, the revolution will be digitized.